Good afternoon, this is Bob Icino coming to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago, talking Euro currency futures. On their lows today, Euro currency was down around 1%, getting a little of that back, finishing down just a little bit less than three quarters of a percent, right around that 124 level in the cash. On the lows, again, down almost 1%, but still higher on the week. It was actually a pretty good week for the Euro, snapping a three-week losing streak. We had mixed data out of the EU this week. Both German and Italian GDP and pricing data was very mixed. We had a slightly weaker headline, German GDP, but a stronger core. We had slightly weaker prices, again, on the headline for Germany, a little bit weaker on the core, a little bit stronger on the core. In Italy, we had misses on both, basically, the GDP and the pricing data were both lower on the headline and the core than expected. Those are two pretty big economies in the EU, Germany obviously being the biggest, and Italy not one of the largest, but certainly significant in terms of our overall influence on the EU numbers. Now we're awaiting the overall Eurozone EU CPI that's coming up on Thursday. It's the only major CPI we didn't get. It should really decide the path of the Euro, especially considering that the dollar got a little bit of strength back, but overall the dollar was weaker. So we're gonna be looking at more of a Euro-driven trade than a dollar-driven trade this particular week. We've also got some PMI and ZEW surveys, which are quite important for the direction of the Euro currency. So Thursday will really be the big day, but again, up on the week and the Euro on the future side and versus the US dollar in the cash, finishing about 124 and change. This is Bob Icino talking Euro currency futures from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago.